Lately, I've been soul searching for an MMO that just grabs you by the, uh, sucks you in and, uh, uh, I mean, uh, a good MMO. I'm, I'm trying to find a good MMO, guys. I've been playing a little bit of World of Warcraft, a little bit of Elder Scrolls Online, a little bit of New World, but none of these MMOs really scratch the itch. That makes me want to play the game for 10 hours a day. So today we're trying something new. We're playing Guild Wars 2. Now I've heard many, many reviews about Guild Wars 2 and almost none of them are negative. So in today's video, we're gonna put about 20 hours into Guild Wars 2 and just feel it out and see if it really catches my attention. All right, let's hop in. I'm I'm super excited to get into this. Let's go, let's do it. Okay, so these are the races. We have humans, not gonna be a human. That's too vanilla. We have Torin from World of Warcraft and we have the Asura. I, I do want to be this little guy. He reminds me of Yoda, kind of. I am also going to be a thief. I'm going to be a little, little gremlin. Look at this guy. He's going to be a little f gremlin. Okay, that sounds like a cool class. We might have to try that out. Oh my God, the music. Wait, I'm getting chills. Yo, this music is amazing. Wow. Okay. Head options. Oh, shit, we can have a bandana. Yo, I like that. I like that. If I fluff out my hair, I can I can do this hairstyle. Easy. This guy has no chin. Look at him. Where's his chin at, bro? Oh, we definitely want to have a chin. Oh, none of these guys have chins. Oh, God. I thought the character creation was pretty cool, especially at the end where I had you pick about three things that changes your in-game character's story, like as you level up and do the story missions. So I thought that was really cool. Overall, I'd probably rate the character creation about a nine out of 10, really good. As I got into the world, did some quests and got familiar with the combat and movement, I saw that when I got to level three, I unlocked PVP. Now, normally players probably wouldn't hop right into PVP, but I'm different. I went into the PvP area and it automatically levels up your character level 60. And basically I was fiddling around with the combat mechanics and my build and all that. And then I finally jumped in and see what it was like. And it obviously went horrible for me. Okay, so we're gonna pretend that my PC didn't freeze while I was recording my first PvP match, but I slammed them, I promise you. I, <laughs> I got shit on, okay. All right, next game, let's go. Oh, it's on the ground where it shows, okay. So we're the red team. Oh shit! I'm dead. Bro, I didn't even know what to do! I just got in the kill! So I'm gonna try to kill her again. Come on. Come on, pussy. Come on, pussy. No, I almost killed her! Kill this bitch! Let's go! We got a kill! Your enemy took the mine. Nice. We got another kill. Oh shit, this is the boss! This is the boss we need to kill. No. No, I'm dead. No! The bear got me! Get him! Get his ass, boys! Nice. Good job. Get this one now. This one. Okay. Your enemy the I got shit on. I got shit on. Bro, once I got in range to this guy, he dicked on my ass. Boiling him down. Boiling him down. Let's go, baby. We won. Let's get it. Hey, that was fun, bro. All right. Well, by looking at the statistics here, you can see my PVP skills aren't really up to par. But later in the video, when I get some more combat experience under the belt, we'll see how it goes. On day two, I already decided to switch things up and go with the Necromancer class. I've pretty much never played Necromancer and I've always like loved the idea of being a Necromancer. So I just went with it. And I think I made the right choice because right away I was having a blast questing. <laughs> Look at me. I'm a little gremlin. Yeah. New profession skill unlocked. What is that? Press F1 to enter Death Shroud. F1. Oh! What? Okay, I'm a Shadow Man now. See, this game has swimming, unlike New World. 
Level 10, let's go! Level 10 was a pretty big milestone for me. I unlocked a 10 hour trial for the Raptor mount, which I gotta say, I really like the movement of Guild Wars 2 mounts. Oh, bro. Dude, the mounts in this game are lit. Oh, the sh movement. The sh movement feels good. I also unlocked my personal story mission. And I really like how Guild Wars 2 goes about it. Like I said, your personal story kind of gets altered by what you pick in the character creation. So that's really cool. And I also like the fact that your character has their own personal dialogue in these quests. Let me take a look. I know this baby like the schematics were tattooed on the inside of my eyelids. Every time I blink, it's a review session. But I still don't get why he gets a whole prize mm. named after him. Because he was one of the greatest geniuses who ever lived, you empty-headed homunculus. <laughs> okay, this is kind of random and doesn't relate to Guild Wars 2 at all. But one thing I want to start doing with my content is to put like a mini vlogs in the videos. Might not be every video. It might be just this one video. I don't know. But here's us going bowling this week. Let's see what you got, Mav. And... Garbanzo beans. Best bowler in the family up here. Get ready. He fires. And it's a strike. What do you gotta say to him? This man has 13 points. And typical gutter. <laughs> He's got the ice in the vein. He don't got that dog in him. Dude. That was nuts. Fuck, fuck that you. One thing that I think would really, really help my Guild Wars 2 experience would be to have friends, you know? Maybe a guild. It is called Guild Wars 2. So having a guild would probably make my experience a lot better. So I invite you to join my Discord. I just want to have a great community of gamers that I can grind MMOs with. So if you're interested, join the Discord. Link's down in the description. Also, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying the video so far. All right, back to it. Leveling in Guild Wars 2 consisted of exploration, regular quests, and world events. Now, the regular questing was pretty much like any other MMO. Kill this, collect that. Once in a while, you'll have a quest that randomly turns you into a chicken. What game are you guys talking about? Wait, what the fuck? This man just turned me into a chicken! What the fuck? But what I really liked was the world events. World events are open world quests that anyone in the area can take part of. This consists of defeating waves of enemies, helping a band of rats go on a supply run, or defeating an elite world boss. Speaking of leveling, I hit level 20. Level 20, boys! Level 20! Let's go! And along the way, I unlocked some necromancer minions. When me and the squad roll up, you better watch out, boy! Look at this squad. This is one mean-looking squad right here. What the fuck is What are you? I'm a little gremlin. Bro, you're just gonna get your little ass punted. Bro, I'm like Yoda, dog. Yoda's strong. He's small, but he's strong. But more importantly, I unlocked jump puzzles. Now, jump puzzles are, you know, what they sound like. It's basically Guild Wars 2 parkour. So, I had a Twitch chatter show me the entrance to one of these jump puzzles, and it was an adventure. Guide me, master. You look badass, by the way. Oh my god. Yeah, Wizard 101, bro. That's so intimidating. This is the jump puzzle spot? Oh, shit! We're doing our first jump puzzle! Oh, my goodness. Uh, uh, it's easy clap so far, boys. I'm like Yoda when it comes to jump puzzles.
I'm going ham! Let's go, baby! Woo! Okay, this part's gonna be hard. <laughs> Let's go, baby! Dude, what? first jump puzzle, I didn't fail it. Let's go. I'm a natural. Uh, Now the real puzzle. Wait, what? Oh, I beat the entrance. Oh, I didn't actually beat the thing. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you made it to the entrance. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, dude, I hate these things where you need to go straight because I always never go. Ah! I'm a failure. What? Okay, okay. No, 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 no. It's my keybinds. My keybinds. Right here. This has to be it, right? So, am I stupid? There's a gust you have to avoid? Wait, what? All right, avoid the wind gusts. Dude, this is impossible! It's no, you, you watch You watch this time. Watch. watch you fucking get knocked off. No, again. you watch this. Watch okay. me go to work. Dude, the hardest part I get with to is these fucking jump puzzles. Yeah, does that count as death, bro? You kind of like fell to your death. No, 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 no. no. Oh, you right right fell too. <laughs> But this is trolling me! It's literally trolling! It's trolling me! No! No! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Never back down! Never what? Never give up! I mean, I didn't think. Okay. Okay. So, so I'm stupid. So I'm stupid. <laughs> I know, I know what to do now. I know what to do. It's so easy. Combats. Yeah. <laughs> One out of four. What? <laughs> There's lightning strikes on this now. Okay. Oh, I'm on my way to go get the scoop. Ah! Oh. 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 We're getting it down. We're getting it down! Wait, bro, what happened to my jump? Oh, that's why my jump was bunt. Oh, wait, I'm fucking stupid, bro. Dude! Marvel snaps and decks. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I'm cheating, guys. Well, no, right. the yeah, the price could have been good. Yeah, Let's go! Oh. Let's go! Is this the last one? Is this the last place? End is in reach. Let's go! This might be the tankiest guy I've fought today. I can't take this. <laughs> I can't take Did this. Have, like, uh... Let's go! We did it! Woo! Wow. Come on, baby. I would say in my 20 hour playtime of Guild Wars 2 that jump puzzles might be my favorite thing I've done. And by the way, you get pretty good rewards. Like this nice 50% XP booster, which I later used to get to our next goal of getting to level 30 so we can unlock dungeons. But before we get to the leveling, I decided to try out PvP again, and I was feeling confident. But the first couple games didn't go my way. The first one I queued into was this MOBA-like game mode. And I'm gonna be honest, I had no clue what I was doing. EXECUTE HIM! EXECUTE HIM! How do you team back in this game? Is there Lord right up here? Oh fuck. It's about to get hairy. Big damage, big damage, big damage on the Lord. Big damage on the Lord. Let's go, baby! 
You see that shit? Surely's on a rampage. Wait. Aren't you? We were red team though, dog. Wait, we lost? It was a base race. I think that's. I think they were killing yours faster. Bro, no, you fucking free uh, <laughs> That shows how you had no idea what was going on. <laughs> the second game, however, was a much closer, and I did pretty well, but we still lost. I'm a failure. I'm glad you recognize that now. Getting better to only two deaths this time. Only two deaths this time. I'm getting better. It's all about improvements. Guys, you're gonna go through struggles in life, but every time you thug it out, it's easier to thug it out. You know what I'm saying? What a rousing speech. <laughs> the third and final try though, I was on my A game. At this point, I was really understanding the combat of Guild Wars 2, and it felt really good. Hey, killed that one. Nice, killed that one. Let's go, I just 1v1 someone. They were ass. They were ass, but I did it. Let's go, baby! No, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I pressed the wrong button. We ate his ass. Oh my god, how am I alive? What? How far is invisibility is out? Nothing of a relative. I'm gonna wall and lose it. We're absolutely out. dicking him. We're absolutely dicking him! Let's go, my teammate saved me! Fuck, this might be my end. Oh my god, I'm still alive! Dude, how did I live? Let's go, baby! I don't have the back There's the dub! There's the dub! Oh, we can go up your tower. Zero deaths! Zero deaths! Yo, am I PvP god yet? Alright, now back to the goal of getting to level 30. I did many cool things on my journey to level 30, including literally defeating my own self in a story mission. Wait, is this future me? Am I just, am I killing my future self? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Helping this golem defeat like 10 elite enemies, facing off against my first actual world boss, and dying in the progress. No! RIP my hardcore run. And doing this little race that I actually messed up on because I was supposed to use these little bugs, but I didn't. But anyways, I made it to level 30 and made it over to my first dungeon. Dungeons are a little bit different in Guild Wars 2. First, you have to beat the story mode, which is very, very short. And then you can do an exploration mode where basically you and your group choose one of four pathways to go in the dungeon. And my group decided to go with the top path of defeating the Howling King. So here are some of the cool moments in the dungeon. Oh shit, there's traps. Wait, bro died. Wait. I need reinforcement. <laughs> wait, he tanked this shit. Oh my god, wait, he's fireproof. Wait, he's actually fireproof. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> oh my god, a lot of spot. Slay the spider queen. Wait, what? Oh, big spider over here. Holy shit. Big damage. And Spider Queen down, let's go. Come on guys, you got this. Oh, he almost died. He's gonna die, he's gonna die 100%. Bro, are you kidding me? No! Bro, this is what I get for trying to help people, man. Oh my god. Oh shit. Okay, so this guy's our first boss. 
Let's kill the ad, kill the ad first. Finish him off! Finish him off! Let's go. Have to destroy more stuff because my inventory is always full on this game! Bonus event. Wait, there's a cave troll! Oh. But I'm getting fucked up. But I'm getting fucked up. Big damage, big damage. Best DPS in the game. Best DPS in the game! Uh. And dead. He's caught. Healer, where are you? Healer, where are you? Healer, where are you? I pulled too much. I pulled too much. There's so many. I've heard that dungeons are now kind of an afterthought in Guild Wars 2. They're pretty much replaced with these things called fractals. But I don't know, I thought the dungeons were pretty cool. There were some cool mechanics. Like this second to last boss, I thought I was a part of the Ghostbusters trying to like suck these little globs up into the device. And then the very last boss, which was probably easier, had this gigantic beam ability. And of course at the end, we got a pretty good amount of loot. And that so far was my Guild Wars 2 experience. Overall, with my very, very limited experience, I'd probably rate the game about a 7.5. I'm sure that would go up like one or two points higher if I actually like, you know, did any of the end game content. I really especially want to try the world versus world like PVP stuff. I feel like that would be really, really fun. But anyways, I want you to leave your Guild Wars 2 opinions down in the comments so I can read your opinions on Guild Wars 2 to what to do next or if I should just play another MMO that you highly suggest. All right, we'll see you goobers in the next one. Peace. The Jedi Order fell three times under Yoda's watch, bro. Dude, don't disrespect my boy Yoda. Mmm, my balls go in your mouth, they do.